Attorney General Jeff Landry threatening to withhold state funding from the New Orleans if the city doesn't comply with the Louisiana's abortion trigger laws, which are currently on hold. Now, we told you that the mayor, city council, NOPD, and Orleans Parish DA have said they won't enforce those laws. Lily Cummings joining us now to break down the letter Landry sent to the state treasurer and Lily uh, Bond Commission earlier today. Sharice, that's right. In this letter, Landry says the Bond Commission has the oversight to approve or deny bonds. Now, last year, the commission withheld about $30 million from New Orleans after some lawmakers said there were concerns about the mayor's COVID policies. Meanwhile, others on the commission blamed a lack of funding. It stalled major construction projects, including renovations of the Superdome. Now, Landry is asking the commission to do, to do the same thing if the city doesn't enforce the trigger laws that ban abortion. In the letter, Landry says in part, a parish or municipality should not benefit from the hardworking taxpayers of this state while ignoring law validly enacted by the people through their res representatives. This morning at an event in Holly Grove, Mayor Cantrell gave her reaction to the letter. I think it's very unfortunate, but I will not be uh, baited uh, into politics, um, but I will stand for women and chairman of the Bond Commission, John Schroeder, was also at that event this morning. We asked if he would follow the recommendation of Attorney General Landry. Schroeder told us he had not had time to review the letter and did not have a response at this time. All right, Lily, thank you so much. And today, the Baton Rouge uh, judge officially extended the restraining order that prevents those trigger laws from taking effect. That's the case by Ishri Port Abortion Clinic that claims Louisiana's three different trigger laws are confusing and contradictory. How the abortion ban will not go into place until a ruling in this case has been issued.